This is a $1 minifigure, and this is a $100 minifigure. In today's video, we're going to walk through a few different minifigures and set up an awesome battle at the end. Battle droids are around $1 at most, and they're great for army building. Did you know that the gun it's holding is worth just as much as the droid? This mortar trooper right here is about $5. If I had a red one of these, I could have ketchup and mustard. Surprisingly, one of Jabba's guards is worth about $10. He's a pretty cool looking green pig. I didn't get my first Lego Star Wars Lord Vader till about two years ago, and this is him. He's worth about $20, and he's one of my favorite minifigures in my collection. The only sequel trilogy minifigure I have not discarded is Captain Phasma. And she fetches for around $30 on certain markets. It's funny they don't give her a movie accurate head, though. Sup, bro? Each of these Mandalorians go for about $17 a piece, or $51 combined, so they'll take our spot at $50. These two Imperial bad boys go for a cool $60 to $75 combined. And here's our $100 minifigure. This Pike Leader is one of the coolest LEGO minifigures I've ever had in my collection. He's very detailed, has his own custom pieces that you can't get anywhere else, and I'm sure the price on him will only go up. Now let's set up the battle. Cue the epic music. Everything's set up in the battle, we've got some minifigures taken out, some getting into action and some into action. We've got a Mandalorian, Stormtrooper Brawlin, Darth Vader leading the charge. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. See you later from Bricks and Kits.